It's almost hard to believe, but Big E can bench an amazing 575 pounds. Oh my gosh. Look, look at him, Cole. Big E is an absolute mountain of a man. This will be a physical battle. You're right about that, Cole. This is going to be a war. This could be so physical that it gets really ugly before it's over. So what do you think about Big E? Big E rose to notoriety here in WWE as the bodyguard, the strong arm, if you will, of Dolph Ziggler. From his first night at ringside, it was very clear that Big E was cut from a different cloth than most of the bodyguards we've seen in this business. Powerful, fast, and certainly not afraid of physical contact. Big E definitely played a part in the success of Dolph Ziggler. Oh, Michael, you got that right. Big E raised the bar for what it meant to be a bodyguard in this business, or any other. Hey, security is security. Once we saw that finishing move of his, the big ending, we knew Dolph Ziggler couldn't be in better hands than that of Big E. Well, luckily, the body hasn't absorbed too much of an attack up to this point. God, there was nothing accurate about that attempt at offense. Oh, you're being too kind. Some people would use other words to describe what we just witnessed. I think anyone would agree that security is definitely important, especially here in the WWE. And Big E did one heck of a job in making a name for himself as the bodyguard for Dolph Ziggler. It gave him the opportunity to beat people up which I'm sure he enjoyed, but it also gave him the opportunity to learn the ropes by watching one of WWE's premier superstars in that ring, night in and night out. I gotta tell you, these guys are in the best shape I've ever seen them in. Dean Ambrose able to break free. Big East Stint as the bodyguard of Dolph Ziggler proved to be a major stepping stone for him becoming a standout WWE superstar. Big E became a force outside and inside the ring while getting a front row seat to scout the best superstars WWE had to offer. It also gave Big E time to develop the perfect finishing move to flatten opponents in the big ending. Barely any damage has been inflicted so far, but this one's not over. You're going for the cover. Just making his presence felt there. With this kind of attack, you have to wonder just how much longer they can compete in this match. Yeah, I completely agree. The way things are going in there, I'd say not much longer. My gosh, this is a beating. Oh, no. Wait a minute, Cole, what's he going to do here? Okay, the question on my mind is, how do you beat a man like Randy Orton? I mean, he is such a veteran of the sport. Simply trying to convince yourself this will be an easy match is not even close to enough. All I'm saying is, his opponent needs a plan. can upset your opponent more than hurt them. Added insult to potential injury there. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. I think when you look at Randy Orton, being that he is a veteran in the ring, doesn't mean he is without weaknesses. The problem is, once they're exposed, they rarely resurface. But first things first, you have to find the weakness. So you're right. The Apex Predator has the ability to learn from his mistakes and ensure that any weakness that is exposed is quickly adjusted for. And that makes him one of the premier superstars of the WWE. And now he's back out on the apron. This match is being televised around the world in 18 languages and in over 110 countries. Absolutely amazing. The world is watching, and I guarantee you they're going to love it. Boom! The shoulders are down. You 
know I've been in this business a long time, and I'll admit, I've never seen anyone quite as, well, unusual as Dean Ambrose. Ambrose is eccentric, but in that ring, he is focused on destroying his opponent and making sure that opponent, whoever they are, remembers the beating that Terry's... Hey, the shoulders are down! Just toying with the competition a little. He's going to take a chance here. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to be worth it or not. Man, he's still down after getting some air here. I need some too after sitting next to you. Oh, he looks like he's in no man's land here. He needs to be able to put things back together here. Michael, this is a dangerous position to be in. He needs to be able to find a way to clear the cobwebs and regroup. I think the statement holds true. Ambrose is an enigma to the fans and WWE roster of superstars. Great reversal! Big E with the tag. No, I can't look. This has been a very methodical attack. Looking to catch him off guard. Quick ref count. Two. Ambrose answers with a reversal. Oh, you never know what Dean Ambrose is thinking. That's what makes him so dangerous. In the mid-2000s, Dean Ambrose became known on the independent wrestling circuit for taking and dishing out ungodly amounts of punishment. To fans around the world, Ambrose emerged in 2012 as the eccentric leader of the Hounds of Justice, known as the Shield. Oh, Ambrose emerged as the leader of the Shield, all right. When they arrived in WWE, the Hounds of Justice... And into the cover. He's seen enough. Here he comes. Good Lord, that wasn't even close. So that's what it's like being so far off the mark. His partner's being punished and he's seen enough. Wow, he's still down after that. Covers. Oh, and he's going to have to do something big here. His partner is in bad shape. While eviscerating WWE's most revered figures, Dean Ambrose became the 77th individual to hold the prestigious United States Championship, a prize that dates back to 1975 in the NWA, when WWE Hall of Famer Harley Race defeated Johnny Weaver to become the first champion. From the top! Not today, too fast! These guys giving this sold-out crowd exactly what they came to see. What an incredible match. Big E tagged in. You know, Michael, we've talked about the career of Dean Ambrose, leading the unstoppable force known as the Shield, becoming United States champion. But Ambrose had had an honor bestowed upon him in April of 2013 when he went one-on-one -on -one with the almighty Undertaker on SmackDown. Oh, that was some match. We may very well be witnessing one of the greatest episodes of Raw in recent memory. Oh, man. Even if you can get back to your feet after a move like that, at this stage of the match, you're still struggling to find your balance. Getting his attention with a vicious strike. Seems like these guys are letting out a lot of pent-up frustration tonight. And here comes Randy Orton. And Randy Orton delivers the patented Orton stop. And it's like he's going for a walk in the park. Stopping everything and sticking out.
Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. <laughs> You're right about that. You got to remember what works. Oh, this will bring everybody to the way. What a move from Randy Orton. That's how you impress the WWE Universe, folks. And the ref starts to count. That wild strike found nothing but empty air that time. <laughs> Man, that's what you call swinging for the fences and missing. God, there was nothing accurate about that attempt at offense. Oh, you're being too kind. Some people would use other words to describe what we just witnessed. And there's the submission hold. Will this do it? He's wearing him down with a very effective submission hold. Watch it. What strength fighting his way out. Not so fast. Big E escapes certain doom there. Yeah, muscles and a great mind. Big E might just be the total package. Oh, no. Wait a minute, Cole. What's he going to do here? We're looking at complete domination. The shoulders are down. One, two. Look past the ring at the thousands and thousands of WWE fans in attendance. Each and every one of them are having a great time tonight. Oh, you're right about that. You always have a great time when you attend the WWE event live. Just like we are here tonight, this is wonderful. You can't put a price tag on landing that perfect strike. And that nailed him. Cole, what's he got in mind? Oh, wait, nice reversal. You better look out. Here comes Randy Orton. His moves are so crisp, so devastating, and no wasted movement. Dean Ambrose tags in. And he finally gets out of the ring. I just can't get over the physicality of this match. This has been brutal. Brutal and very, very painful for these guys. Gonna have to shake off the moderate damage that's been inflicted here and find a way to maintain the upper hand. He's got the shoulders down, Cole. This could be it. Kofi Kingston is really going to town right now. A reversal from Ambrose. Oh, that was slick. Uh-oh. Big move coming. Few superstars. Great counter. This match has taken so much out of this guy. He's not going to give up. But, man, this has been physical. to avoid that. What's he going to do here? What's he going to do here? This might be it. One, two. Oh! The referee getting involved now. Man, this is one of those matches you just like to sit back and enjoy watching. Yeah, one of those you never want to see in. The body's taking some abuse here, but nothing that can't be shaken off. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. Makes the cover. And the ref starts to count. The tension, the drama, this is electric. Look at the back of my arm, Cole. Look at the goosebumps. I love this. Two. 
These guys are giving it their all here tonight, not just to entertain the fans, but to ultimately walk away with the win. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Not today. Too fast. He's too good inside the ring to be out on the floor for long. I don't agree with you, King. Absorbing a little bit of punishment here. Nothing to be overly concerned about, though. Oh, out of nowhere! He's simply reminding him that he's here. He's got him! Three! Four! Oh, wait, nice reversal. I'd say that's more embarrassing than anything else. The Apex Predator might be fading here. Six. He wants this Seven. battle decided inside the ring. And that's why he's such a great athlete, such a, an important Eight. superstar. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Keep the action inside the ring. That's where you're going to win this thing. Unleashing it for the second time now. He's got him hooked. We're looking at complete domination here. Oh, this isn't over yet. Look at him go. Randy Orton with some strong moves currently. We've seen this before. Astonishing maneuver by Randy Orton. Boy, he's really done his homework for this match. Whoa! Hey, the shoulders are down. Big elbow. So simple, yet so effective. This might not end. RKO, the fight for strikes. Describe this match. Let's take a look back at what exactly happened during this one. I can't believe what we saw during this one. Oh, they threw everything they had at each other in this match. Here are your winners, Dean Ambrose and the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. I love a good tag team match, and this one was unforgettable. I mean, these teams gave us everything they had, and the WWE Universe is the true winner in this one. And don't forget you and I. We have the best seats in the house. Anytime you can pick up a win inside a WWE ring, you have something to be extremely proud of. And I can imagine there aren't too many people at home regretting tuning in for that amazing match. Wow.